We're live now. Good afternoon, Facebook friends. It's Cindy with Candles and Supplies. Looking more ridiculous than usual in my uh, St. Patrick's Day hat here. We have something special going on for you today. We are going to do a candle and a soap, a, a pot a pot of gold gel can, gel chunk candle with Christine, and a pot of gold rainbow soap with Tiana. And I am going to turn the camera around and introduce them, and we are going to have a whole lot of fun today. All right. Hi, Facebook. There's Tiana, and she's going to do a rainbow soap, and there's Christine, Hi. and she's going to show you how to do a gel chunk candle. So we did these gel chunks last week at our workshop, and they were very, very popular. So we thought we'd show you guys how to do it, too. That way it's just not limited to the confines of who comes to our classes. So. I think Tiana wants to be first. They were kind of fighting yes. over it. And I uh, am going to be first. Tiana I want to make myself. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to make a rainbow soap. So I started with um, a five ounce clamshell for soap because I figured it would be easiest to do that. Um, and I chopped up some melt and pour soap and I added our red soap dye in there. I'm going to just microwave this really quick to pour our first layer. I usually microwave the melt and pour at half power because sometimes when you do it full power, it's a little bit too hot. And then it can get kind of a taffy consistency and then you have to throw it out and stir all over. So when you get it too hot, it like burns off like all the moisture in there too. And, and it's like, yeah. yeah, it's nasty. Okay. It does, it's yeah. not a good thing. So like it's just small time. amounts of time. And try to chop it into even seconds. chunks. You got lots of hearts coming through, Tiana. Thank you for Yay. all the hearts. Yay! I'm excited. Alright. Okay. Let's see my soap. Because red starts first in the rainbow. Okay, and so I'm just going to pour my red layer into my clamshell. Okay, and then after you're done pouring that in, then you get um, just regular rubbing alcohol, and you spray the top to get rid of any bubbles. You see how that magically just gets rid of the bubbles on there and everything? It prepares your surface for the next one. And it also helps the layers adhere together, which is very important when making a rainbow soap. Right. So what we're doing is pouring different colors of soap in layers. So you can see there's one layer of red right there. We're pouring different colors of soap in layers to eventually, at the end, have a rainbow. We did our red layer. And then magically our red layer got hard and it's ready for our next layer, which is going to be orange. And Tiana is working, cooking that up right working now. Working on making the orange. And again, she's doing just like, you know, small amounts of temperature. Small amounts of time on half temperature. That way it doesn't get too hot and burn. There's like 7,000 people watching you right now. No pressure, right? I mean, we're seven. We're seven. Yeah. Okay, and so. You just start up in between both. So, this, yeah. for this layer, I used um, a white soap. That way, the colors have more contrast. Excellent. Yeah, that way you'll be able to see the orange layer and it won't just turn into like a darker red. Yeah, Very cool. I made that mistake already. Sorry. <laughs> so, you want to. First, she's going to spray her red layer with alcohol. If you don't spray your layer with alcohol that's already hard, then your second layer is going to pop apart. They won't stick together. Kelly's on here. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> we see you. That was perfect. That's my niece. She's awesome. Hi. Okay. And then I'm just spraying that to get rid of all these bubbles. There you go. And see how that magically gets rid of the bubbles again. Nice orange layer. And now because our red layer hardened magically. Now we have a red and orange layer. So it's time for the yellow layer because you do red and then orange and then yellow. So again, Tiana's heating the mountain pour soap up at 30 second intervals. And slow and easy. And you then let your soap to get too hot. And then the yellow is made with the clear soap as well. I'm just kind of alternating the layers. That way. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's a really pretty yellow. 
And this was just with yellow soap dye. Okay. Yellow liquid soap dye. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> now again, she's going to spray her next layer. Oh, yeah, our, our layer of orange magically cooled off and is ready for pouring again. Okay. So she's going to spray that layer with alcohol and then pour the yellow layer it's on. perfect. It is perfect. That was wonderful. Spray again okay. to get rid of any bubbles. Yay. Can you see on the side? Yeah, let's take a side view because it kind of blends in from this angle. But see the side view, you can see the orange underneath and then the yellow layer and the red on the bottom. So awesome. So that's all ready for our next layer, which is going to be green. And voila, the yellow magic hardened. <laughs> and Tiana's going to heat up the green. And that will be our next layer. So you see on this soap, I'm going to just turn it sideways. This side films better. So you see how the soap's getting really cool. So you have your red and then your orange. Heating up the green. Working on the green, nice and slow. I think the colors turned out really nice. They did, they look really pretty. We have a variety of different color options. So we use liquid dyes, liquid soap dyes. We use some... I use some mica. Some mica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to use some glitter. Of course, for the gold. And there, there's the green there's soap. Green. That looks really pretty. Okay, and then that. we're going to pour the green on top of our hardened layer. We're going to spray the alcohol first. Make sure you spray. That way it doesn't separate. Oh, that looks awesome. I kind of want to eat that. I'm like in the mood for like green smoothies or something. That looks here, really good. Doesn't it? I think yeah. we missed green smoothies. Okay. Hey, you have to spray it to get your bubbles out. Oh, I'm coming Wait. back. Okay, she's coming back. She's coming back. <laughs> coming back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't want to leave the bubbles. There we go. Yeah, it's a pretty layer. That is a pretty layer. See how nice that looks, nice and clear and everything. That was awesome. And now magically our green layer hardened, and we're ready for our blue layer. You see what it looks like now with all four of those layers. It's getting even cooler looking. Camera doesn't kind of show our yellow layer. The you yellow and these. If you hold it like that, then you can see yeah. the yellow. <laughs> there you go. All depends on how the light hits it and stuff like that. So. What about the smell? Also add, what about the smell? We did add scent to this. Um, we just scented a little bit with like some lucky ones, like green clover and aloe. Um, and mint chocolate. Mint chocolate. <laughs> we did a bunch of different ones because we wanted, you know, something pretty awesome. We're going to put these in our bathroom for everybody to use. So we always have really cool stuff in our bathroom here at Candles and Supplies. That way people get to try out all the different things and see them. All right, our blue soap's getting ready here. Here's Look how pretty blue. that blue is. Ooh, that looks gorgeous. And this one we did opaque because, in white soap, because the green layer is all clear, so we thought the blue soap would contrast nicely with it. And in the clear, the blue yeah. shows up really, really, really dark. Yeah, it's dark. That's true. That's true. Okay, so our green layer magically hardened here. Tiana's going to spray again. And this is just clean rubbing alcohol. We just put it in a... Uh, sprayer. We actually use 91% isopropyl all around here. So she sprays that layer. You see how it got like little bubbles on it? Watch this when she sprays it's really it, cool. they're going to go away. Yeah. See how they're all gone. everything. Yeah. That's really cool. That's one. It's important to spray it like with the alcohol after you pour and then right before you pour your second layer too. Because after you pour it gets rid of the bubbles and then before your next layer is going to make your layers adhere together. All right. So now our blue magically hardened and we're ready. So now you can really see. Now the yellow, know. you still, like, I feel like the yellow, yeah. you can't tell. No, yeah, the yellow's in there. It needs to be held. Oh, there we go. I have it at the right angle so you can see all the different layers. Kind of money on camera. It's a cloudy here day here in Pennsylvania, too, so we do not get much natural sunlight through this. No, definitely not. Kelly says, clover and aloe sounds perfect for a leprechaun. Oh, it smells really good, too. It's, like, nice and clean smelling. And it's very it's clean. Just, yeah. Just really uplifting and nice, so. Which is what we need this time of year for these gray, rainy, cold days in Pennsylvania. We all kind of have the wintertime blues here. Yes, so we for sure. are ready for spring and clean smelling scents, so. Purple is our next. Tiana's got that heating up over here. How's that looking? Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks purple. 
Definitely purple. Kind of smells like oatmeal. <laughs> I know. It's... Put a couple more drops of scent in there. So. It smells like oatmeal. Yeah. I don't know why it smells like oatmeal. I don't know. It does really smell like oatmeal, though. Okay, it does not smell like oatmeal anymore. Okay. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Purple. Purple time. There we go. I'm just going to spray that with alcohol again. See all the bubbles coming out of it. She's gonna spray it. They're magically gonna disappear. One of my favorite parts of the before soap, spraying the alcohol on. So. <laughs> can you see it? Oh, it looks really cool. You can see it. And then now, for my finishing touch, I'm going to put Ooh, gold glitter, glitter on the top because at the end of a rainbow is always a pot of gold, right? Cosmetic glitter. You don't want to use just regular craft store glitter in any of your soap or candles because it's not safe and it's full of plastic and stuff like that. So this is cosmetic see. glitter. You can use it in soap and candles. Oh yeah, we can see those layers and everything. And just look how we got purple is, everywhere. So. But it's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Yay! Yay! Good job. You're getting lots of hearts coming through and everything. So. Maybe I'll take one out after the right. scene's done. <laughs> so we kind of did like you know all these things. No. We kind of did all these things, you know, behind the scenes and got it ready. That way we're not waiting for the soap to cool in between layers and everything. So pretty much Tiana just like cut these things up into chunks and stuff like that and got them ready and everything before that. Do you want to, do we have any soap here we can show them just how we cut it into chunks? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let me go grab some soap. So we start with, how do we do it? Two-pound block of mountain pour soap. And then, I already thought about using this one. So, so I already kind of chopped the one side. Let's go around to this angle here. So I usually just chop it up long way, and then I go back in and make sure that they're in small pieces. That way, it kind of melts evenly. Because if you leave big chunks like this, it takes forever for it to melt. And you don't want to heat, like if you have big chunks and then some's melted, some's not. That never works. Because then really sometimes good, the so. soap can burn. Right. And burned soap is not good. So. Oh, Valerie's on. She says you're cute. Aww. Hey, Valerie. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. So then these are these are a good amount, a yeah. like good size. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. So and then, then you could just put them in your measuring cup. Mm -hmm. We're just going to come up and get ready for this project. See, she's cutting these just all in nice, small, uniform shapes. That helps it melt more evenly in the microwave and stuff like that. So, melt and pour soap is really easy and it's really great to be creative with because you can see you can get, you know, like all these different kinds of cool colors and stuff like that. Easy with many different dyes. You can add glitter, make it sparkle, you can add micas, make it shimmer. We can add peppermint. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun stuff to work with and everything. So, it's awesome. Cool. All right. So next we are getting ready for Christine and the gel chunk candle. But Christine just disappeared, so we're waiting for her to come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just going to watch Tiana chop You're up You're going to watch soap. me chop up more soap. soap. This is a lot of fun. So. I'll switch with you. I'll help her out, yeah. So, I okay. Film you, but. Okay, without yeah. further ado, I'm going to pass this off to Christine. All right, come on over. I got the show right. There she is. Got this, Tiana? Yep. I'll be back. She wants to have a class. Hi, sorry about that. Helping customers, there's a lot going on here. All right, so we are going to make a gel chunk candle with these nice green gel. You can just melt your gel and uh, pour it out into a baking sheet, and then you let it dry for a couple hours, and then you can just peel it off. Simple as that. Gel's kind of fun like that. 
All right, so we are going to use our Charleston jar today. So I already put the wick and everything in here. It's the zinc core, the six inch. And then we also put a container burning instruction on the bottom. They are extremely important. It'll stop you from getting sued. <laughs> so um, we also put a wick clip on here because with the gel and everything in there, it just keeps everything straight so it doesn't move around with putting the chunks in. All right, so I cut a few of them here already, but you can just put them in like so. It doesn't really matter how they fall. You don't need to like squish them in there because the wax, when you pour it in there, will go all the way around It looks them. like jello. Yeah, and it feels like jello. It's like wiggly. Jello's always fun. I'm used to wax, and every once in a while, gel, and it's always it's funny every time. so fun. <laughs> what scent are you using, Christine? We are using spearmint. Because peppermint, we felt, was a little more like Christmas-like, but spearmint has the good mint flavor of St. Patrick's Day. All right, so... You can cut the gel chunks here. We're gonna actually just sprinkle a little glitter on top. So Ooh. it doesn't get a little crazy. Ooh. 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 It comes out fast. <laughs> <laughs> and you can just cut it with scissors. These are those little kid scissors because apparently people don't trust me with real ones. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need anything too sharp. You can put them in any shape, size, doesn't really matter. Just wanna make sure they fill in there. Okay. Now we're getting almost towards the top here. So our last couple ones that are up the top, we're gonna roll in the glitter, because you're gonna see them um, after the candle's poured with the container wax in it. Gives a little fun extra to it. I'm just gonna roll it around in glitter and roll the glitter all over your hands, it's okay. It'll wash off eventually. We're used to that here, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> glitter I still everywhere. have blue soap dye all over the place. Oh yes, and dyes, they're everywhere. But everything washes off pretty. Do a few more. You want them peeking out at the top. Kind of like gold. What am I going for here? The gold in the pot of gold. There you go. Gold in pot of gold <laughs> candles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. I mean, any really, anytime. You I think change. you could do different colors. Yeah, you could change the color of the chunks and the candle, and then you just have a pretty gold chunk candle. I think oh, I have okay. an idea for Fourth of July chunks. Um, oh, I feel like I know where you're going with that. <laughs> so, I'm going to my hands with this glitter here. All right. And Tiana can come over here. So we yeah, come over here. I gave you a scoop. Okay. <laughs> We're not going over there. <laughs> All right. So we are going to measure out a pound of wax, which is, in other words, 16 ounces. We want to make sure the scale is zeroed here so that it's not kind of melting pot's weight because that'll throw everything off. But it's a little bit closer because I know I'm going to drip it everywhere. And this is just a single pour container wax. We have a bunch of different available. It's kind of personal preference which one you let use to like. Is it soy? This one is partially soy. Okay. It's a blend. getting there. Probably won't need this much in the candle, but I'd rather have a little bit extra that we can use maybe next time versus not having enough and you're pouring halfway through and you're like, oh no, I need to make more. Yeah, it's a sticky situation to be in. It's happened, but. We're doing okay, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're getting there. Yay! Hi guys! <laughs> I know this We're is getting really, really popular. exciting, we're pouring wax into a melting pot. I'm having fun watching All right, you. 16 ounces. So Yay. we have one pound. All right, and now we're going to add our scent spearmint. We're going to clear the scale just because it doesn't really matter if there's 16 in there. We want to make sure we add one ounce per, per pound or 16 ounces. I know the process is a little tedious, but it's definitely worth it because you overscent and bad things happen. The underscent, you don't smell it. So it's definitely something you want to be very aware of. And you always want to measure your scent too because some of them are heavier than others. So it might look like one ounce, but it may not necessarily be. Oh, and let's add one drop of Kelly Green just to give it a nice green color. 
because we don't want it to be too dark because they won't really be the same colors. All right, mix it up in here. Grab the lid and do it that way. Sometimes when I have a little bit of wax, you can just swish it like that, but you don't want to get wax all over me, so not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> all right. See, now here's a little bit of a tricky part. Since we have all the glitter on here, we want to pour not really on top of the glitter. So I have to a find shot. a good spot. Which doesn't really look there is too many. Because otherwise the glitter is just going to go all over into the rest of the candle. Alright, that one's not too bad. I'm going to pour it nice and slow to make sure it goes into all the crevices of all the different gel in here. Well, that looks really cool. All right. Do you think that looks good, Dee? Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more? All right. I think that's good. All right. See some of the glitter floated a little bit in the uh, wax there, pretty. but it'll look very pretty. And this is cosmetic grade glitter, so it won't light on fire when you light it. It'll just pull around and look very That is pretty. very important. It is very important, because <laughs> you don't want your glitter to catch on fire. <laughs> because regular glitter is made out of plastic. Right, exactly. That's And then you can, if you, if you want, you can add a little glitter on top. Look at that. Glitter it up. It looks fancy. It looks very fancy. All right. Okay, so we can so wait a little bit. So fast forward a couple We're hours We're going to fast forward. And your candle is done. Ta-da. So. Very pretty. All right, so you want to take your whip clip off here. I want to run over there. Okay. She'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to make sure we trim our right, we've got the nice wig clippers here because they're much easier than scissors. And it makes sure you trim the right amount, too. So just pour it in there. Yay. There you go. It is all clipped. Now let's see if I can get a. Woo, look how pretty. You can see the chunks on the side coming out. There's even a little glitter. That's so it's nice cool. and pretty. Okay, I like I mean, that big you can chunk always, right there. <laughs> you can always add more glitter or less if you're not a glitter person. We very much so are. And then, got a nice lid to top it off. And you are good to go. You got a perfect little St. Patrick's Day pot of gold candle there. Oh. Sorry guys, that was... Hold. She'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, can you put a little Happy Saints Back to Day label on there? If you ask us, we can get them for you can get them for purchase. All right. So you can put it on the lid here nicely, or if you want, you put it on the side as well. So whatever. There you your go. Preferences. Okay. Perfect. Ready? I'm gonna see if I can. Okay. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye.